Temperatures dropped off a bit compared to the 4th of July weekend for inland portions of the Bay Area, but that strong breeze has really ramped up the fire danger. A couple wildfires that we're continuing to monitor right now. So we head through the rest of the week. Near normal temperatures tomorrow and Wednesday will give way to a warmer, even hotter weather pattern once again with the hottest temperatures farther inland back up to or above 90 degrees for the second half of the work week and into the second weekend of July. Right now, a clear look at Mount Diablo. Temperatures all over the place as we expect in the summertime. We got 60 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's 90 degrees on the nose right now in Santa Rosa, but just 62 degrees downtown. 70 in Oakland, 82 degrees right now in Concord, Livermore, and San Jose. You're the comfortable spots. Mid 70s, perfect for early July. Temperatures are quite a bit cooler than they were at this time yesterday, which is some good news in terms of that fire danger. But again, it's the strong winds that are really helping to boost that and make the fire crews jobs more difficult. Anywhere from two or three degrees cooler than 24 hours ago to 10 or 11 degrees cooler, 14 degrees cooler even in Livermore as of 5 o'clock. We're not going to see a lot of fog by tomorrow morning, but some of it developing, especially along the coast and around the bay. I don't think it's going to last too long. It should dissipate quickly as we head through the day on Tuesday. Temperatures are going to start off mostly in the low to mid-50s, a tiny bit below average for early July, but we are going to warm up to almost exactly normal high temperatures, and it's not going to be as breezy. See the wind gusts in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range for most of the first half of the day. The wind will pick up during the afternoon, but we're talking about 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts. That's where the sustained winds are right now. So when the strongest gusts are that level, it means the sustained winds are less than 20 miles an hour. That should help in terms of Tuesday's fire threat. And temperatures aren't going to be that hot either. Mostly upper 60s and low 70s around the bay, mid to upper 70s around the South Bay, then low 80s for the Santa Clara Valley, mid to upper 80s for the Tri Valley with the hot spots farther inland around Solano and eastern Contra Costa County, low to mid 80s for the North Bay and right along the coast. Temperatures only reaching up into the low to mid 60s. But we should see plenty of sunshine. That fog isn't going to last all day. Day. I think it's going to be a bit more stubborn on Wednesday, but we still should be able to shake it by Wednesday afternoon. And then temperatures do heat up a little bit around the water, mid 60s along the coast, near 70 degrees near the bay, but up into the low, even mid 90s as we head into the weekend.